in the mood for casting. Intermediate matches right now. Royalty versus Psyops is a pretty close match. Let's go check it out, shall we? See if I can get in here. Okay, apparently tomorrow night there will be a double header for X Television. Sal and X Time will be casting uh, the double header by LG. So it'll be LG versus Mix Up and then LG again versus Chess Club. We catch a match already in progress. We see Psyops against um, Royalty. Both of these teams are very experienced. Just to give you guys the background here, the score. I have to check it, of course. Uh, it is 3-1 Royalty, so just to catch us up on the game so far, it looks like Za, which is short for pizza, has been doing really well. Renga has been doing re really well. And Smack, Smack is in the game, so that's kind of interesting. I didn't really know that Smack was on Royalty. Uh, for Saps, we got Sharice, RB, Testify, Blueberry Villain as the Pocket, Duatna, and Triss. So a really great lineup for both these teams here. We're catching... Uh, Royalty on the defensive here after the uber exchange and Sharice has a really good uber here and a chance to keep pushing Blueberry in a bit of trouble though by himself. If any anyone from X Television is watching right now and wants to join me on this cast, I would so appreciate it. I'm going to ask x if he wants to help me with this cast. Okay, uh, we're watching here. I'm going to change the title on the stream, so give me a moment. wasn't expecting to, to cast this. We have ESCA Intermediate. Royalty versus Psyops. Okay. Testify putting up some huge numbers for his team and Za for the other one. We see Psyops trying to hold the second point here. Renga getting a nice pick on Testify and that's his cue to push. Here we see Psyops moving with full uber advantage, or no, sorry, even ubers now. It's Sakura trying to bring that uber in from behind and actually, or sorry, from the from the front, I'm a little bit disoriented. Okay, so great entry picks for Royalty. Early Uber Force here saves the demo man though. And actually this is a really good Uber for Sharice who hasn't had to split at all. The Uber's coming off for Sakura. Will they be able to do anything with this Uber? No. Royalty, very nice Uber pop. Ta able to take out four of Psyops' players and now Royalty in a very good position here to push last actually. Trades going down for both teams. Blueberry with a nice pick onto, I believe that's Mason. I can't. I don't know who Good and Great are, but I believe it's Mason. And I'm just gonna go with Good and Great. You know, that's. I don't want to get it wrong. It's Mason and oh, Grape. Sorry, Mason and Grape. Okay. Psyops able to hold off that last push. Smacka goes down, but Smacka did get Duatna, which will make it hard for Psyops to push out. Actually, some really nice play by Mason. Trying to hold off that Spire, but he goes down to Testify. Testify starts to cap the Spire right now. I need a drink of water, yes. X Time will be joining me on the cast. Thank you, based X Time. Uh, shoot. Uh, I need to get X time the connect info, so one moment though. I will give it to you guys as well because I know you guys want it. Alright. Oh, Duwatna, great. Takes out Mason with some really well placed pipes. And Royalty starting to back out. Sharice somehow forcing Uber there. Uh, pretty questionable play. And actually, Sakura, if he can get the Uber fast enough, will be able to block the point here. Sakura is at 95% with a chance to block. No. Royalty is already all the way back out of middle, choosing to go for a more conservative play by them. But they still have a chance to repush mid if they want it. Uh, we see Grape playing heavy, which is always fun to see in matches. <laughs> Not really. Renga starting to push the choke here. There's a trap on the rock. Will they see it? Yes, they will. And the Uber Force because of that trap. Not very good Ubers for either team, but at least Royalty gets the second Uber, which will force Psyops out of the middle point. And this is what we call leapfrogging, you know, using your uber in, taking the point, but then like giving it up and then like, you know, like, like when one team gives up the point and then comes back in with their own uber, that's leapfrogging. Smacka trying to get some damage onto Sharice there, gets her down to 30 health. Will she make it out? Yes, she does. 
Mason taking out RB and Duwatna getting some nice frags here. Actually, Slyops taking some huge damage here onto Royalty. Royalty's in a bad spot. Only Sakura and Grape are alive right now. Grape playing heavy, but that's not going to be enough. Actually, the heavy for both teams. Trisk is on heavy. Interesting. I love seeing heavy in a large map like Process. In come the Uber for both teams. Sakura with a slightly better one because he's on the defensive Uber and Grape is able to take out Trisk. Battle of the heavies. Uh, Zah getting a nice frag on the Blueberry villain and without those heavy players for Psyops, they're going to be in a bad spot here actually. Psyops starting to back out here and Smacka on the spy actually on the point. Misses the stab and gets taken out by Duatna. And actually these were what we call false numbers, so now Royalty in a bad spot. So they, they were in a good spot, now in a bad spot. And this has been happening all night on process. Teams having good advantages but not like keeping them. They just, they just get really great frags and then keep pushing it into the point where they die. This allows Psyops to cap the point. And even over to both teams, Smacka switches to Sniper, we see Trisk still on Heavy. Hey, x time. Ow. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Do you mind changing the stream title while we're at it? Oh, uh, sure. This is... Yes. Uh... PsyOps versus uh, Royalty, uh, ESCA okay. Intermediate. Thank you so much. We are watching Grape here taking a nice frags onto Trisk, Duana, and Charisse. Nice 3k by him. RB trying to clean that up there, but really unable to do so, and it's just him. And so he's not going to win this push on the last. Very nice play by Grape. Grape is a very strong player. Oh, so strong, and his jumps are so creative. And they really catch you off guard. He made an entire frag movie about killing me. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Mason, nice air shot on to testify. But unfortunately oh, for PsyOps, they did, uh, sorry, unfortunately for Royalty, they were able to push out and cap this fire, but they don't have a medic up, so they're not going to be able to hold on to this spire for too long. Sharice has a 40% advantage. And preparing her team to push the spire. I um, haven't been able to follow I am too much. I was watching the earlier cast. Where do these two teams sta stand in the playoff? I would uh, be race lying right if I told you that I knew. Okay, okay. Well, I'll, <laughs> uh, I'll do some research. I am in game now. Okay, so, I'm actually uh, trying to do the same research. Uh, Royalty is seven and seven, and Psyops is nine and six. So actually, this is a really big match for Royalty as well. You know, if Royalty wins this match. And they have a chance to make playoffs. I'm not sure how they pan out against. Uh, yeah, surely there's quite a lot of uh, tie breaks going on and stuff. Yeah. And still with two matches uh, to play for them. Um, you know, I mean, if they got two wins, they would, mm -hmm. they would leapfrog, uh, get off my lawn. Actually, now that I think so. about it, if uh, Royalty wins this match, they will beat out Bear Force 1 for that last playoff spot. I'm pretty sure about oh, Bear, it. Bear Force 1 uh, does have one, one game to play. Um, oh, do they? They're they have playing one against more? Red Team. Ah. Okay. It's cool B and Okos. And we're watching Mason here trying to get the force. Actually ends up getting forced himself in the computer room. And then Sharice with a nice second pop here with the heavy in the computer room. Blueberry Villain trying to see what he can do with this Uber here, but unable to do anything with it. Royalty in a decent position on this hold. RB getting a little extended and, oh, and damaged here. Duwatna trying to get some stickies in. Finishes off Mason. Mason is great and Grape is good. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. okay. Using, but um, we can rock with us. So good. <laughs> Sibes here, nice, nicely able to count the point. And we've been seeing heavy in the last couple round, in this last round here actually. So uh, oddly enough, apparently, and even both teams are running one heavy at one point. Hmm. So you know, a little questionable, but uh, you know, when you when a game is on the line, that's when the heavies come out. We see it at land, we see it in intermediate. It doesn't matter what level you're at, the heavies come out. On the game yeah, he heavy so strong, and in particular maps too, it's just it's tough to push with the soldier. Um, heavy is just really good to elbow your way in there. I mean, what do you do with your roaming soldier? I mean, that's you know why we've seen like Relic um, started playing heavy on like Badlands last mm -hmm. um, for complexity. It was one of the ones to really kind of push that in uh, invite sixes. Oh, yeah. and, um, that's it's just a really strong strat. What else is your roaming soldier gonna do? Um, yeah. You know, it gives your your pocket a little bit more freedom to work with the Uber. 
Um, it, it's very effective, uh, especially on some of these difficult laps. So. Yeah, and the other nice thing about heavy is that, well, the reason why to roaming soldiers is because it allows you to capitalize on more advantages, but if you don't want to capitalize on them anyway, might as well run that heavy, and that'll prevent you from losing certain points, because it's so hard to push against that mobile mm -hmm. sentry. Anyway, we're watching here as Smacka gets a nice headshot onto Blue Raven. Oh. Double headshot, takes him out, but that's not going to be able to get him enough to push out. We see Duwana responding appropriately by sticking up his chokes. And take it away from here next time. Yeah, Sakura was poked up for a little bit more. Um, I'm still kind of getting my bearings on this oh, okay. map, but um, it, it's just kind of a standoff right now. It's 0 0. PsyOps have been able to fight back and uh, take control of the second point here. We actually now have um, Engineer um, uh, for Red Team, so they're really buckling down. Smack is on Sniper. You know, getting that headshot was a, a moment where they could have maybe pushed out, maybe poked out a little bit more, maybe been a bit more comfortable. Mm -hmm. But Smack had just uh, stayed on Sniper. Actually getting uh, picked off by RB there, so that's a, that's a good kill for RB, but see if it's enough to make them move in. Looks like it's going to be, as uh, here comes Uber's getting popped. Um, uh, Che has to back up now with the Heavy slow to come in, but it's the cleanup. That's part of why Heavy is so good. He's fully buffed. Oh my god. 80 all big kills. And just steamrolling in here and just cleaning everybody up. And it's so hard to push against the Heavy, like we mentioned. The Heavy is just like that perfect mobile sentry. When he's fully buffed at 450, that's going to win you the round. And Really great play by uh, Testify. Or was it Tri No, Testify, yes. Opening up that play by getting a nice early pick on Smacka. And the yeah, that 65, a and that's the key to push. A long uh, round to uh, start us off here. Um, the heavy play executed. Oh. oh, okay, so no, wait, is this the second half? Yes, this is the second okay. half here. The score okay. is 3 Excuse to 2, me. I believe. I thought we were just getting In favor of here. royalty, yep, no. Uh, in the game in progress, so Psyops maybe uh, putting together a bit of a comeback here. We saw one uh, earlier. See some early damage going on by Psyops, and they're able to take out the demo man as well as the pocket, and now. Trace holds down left side, takes out Smacka. Um, moving across the point, well in control. Um, I'm going to try to find Sakura here. Sakura is backed up on second point, but remains to be seen whether they have the numbers to hold, uh, hold yeah. that point. Blueberry tried to sacrifice in there, a little overextended, a little overzealous there, but it shouldn't make a difference here. Uh, five on five, onto the Spire. Sakura, if he gets this Uber in time, they will be able to block the points. Mm. RB getting some nice damage onto into uh, Mason and takes him out. Ranga taking out RB. Yeah, Mason a little overextended there, which uh, can be risky when you know your back's up against the wall. You don't want any unnecessary deaths uh, because the slightest advantage they're gonna they're gonna work you on it. Yeah, and we see Smack again playing sniper, and it's interesting why he's going sniper because he's getting the pick on some occasions, but then he's not able to capitalize it on it anyway. So. Not, you know, that's the problem with running defensive sniper. We mentioned it in the last match. Even if you get the pick, it's still six on five on your last point. You can't really push out unless you get another pick. Yeah. Um, RB going uh, sniper uh, to try to counter that. And that's kind of uh, dangerous as well. It, 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 it's possible that because his last point's so big, maybe that sniper... Oh, RB whiffs. I mean, I he can't. I mean, I, I, I miss shots all the time, but <laughs> he had an opportunity, and as a sniper, you got to take you got to take advantage of him. It's as mm -hmm. simple as that. Yeah. Like, oh, that was sick. You only get so many peaks before they stop showing their head. Um, uh, RB switched angles, though. Going for maybe a fully charged body shot. And as I mentioned before, maybe Smacka being on sniper, maybe providing more pressure on the last point. But we see the little sniper v sniper duel in the bottom right corner there, and... Uh, I think RB is running, yes, he's running the uh, spy shield, I forgot what it's called already. Uh, Razorback. The Razorback, yes, and why is he running a uh, Razorback when there's no spies in 60s? Question yeah, <laughs> um, it, it don't matter too much. I mean, it, it's better to stop any sort of surprise. Probably not going to happen, but, <laughs> you know, extra 25 health, um, I believe that, uh, I forget what item it is. But the, I believe the, danger shield. the danger shield is very crucial, actually. It can give you extra 50 health with the... Uh, the heels. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, and you know, some people still like the SMG. It's really interesting here. Psyops actually just took out the sentry, and here they are spamming the guy. That's their chance. Oh. And oh, RB, nice pick on the smack, and this is their chance to push 65. No sentry up right now. Psyops getting ready to push the point. Here they come with the Uber down the right side. Blueberry finally getting popped late, and actually Ubering at the same time as Sakura. Blueberry hopping into the cave at the top and able to take out Mason. 
RB, nice second snipe onto Za. And this Red's is three picks. Back. Another oh. pick on Renga, and now this is over. RB, three great yeah. picks at last. I was saying that Red was starting to come back with some pressure, but uh, Renga just got taken down real quickly, and, you know, nothing else was really going on there. So, um, Psyops now uh, ties it up 3-3. Three, three, nine minutes uh, remaining in this half. Looks like so, we got a match uh, here. It's going to huh? have to be a quick one. Uh, see oh, really? This middle breaks down. Oh, this has been a slow match then. Yeah, it kind of has been. Um, we'll see if they actually get to five. Uh, maybe we'll have a tie game. We'll go into overtime. Um, one red soldier uh, jumping around. That is great. Jumps on the demo man. Doesn't hit the juggle. And some damage on the medic. But um, Jay's still doing all right. And now Renga doing some good damage as well. And this will give uh, Royalty the chance to cap the midpoint. Sipes is completely zoned out right now. Sharice just able to make out alive though and this is pretty good for them you know recognizing the situation and knowing when to back out only down one player right now this will give them a chance to defend the spire if they really want to take it uh but trisk is on heavy right now and that seems to be a trademark for psyops for this match and rb establishing dominance on this spire here so psyops definitely wants to contest it and knowing that smack us which is the heavy as well so we see some heavy on heavy action and what, what's your opinion on the on you know the whole decision not to push on you know the four on three into just fire if so. I, mean. uh, I thought it was a good opportunity to push. I, I was a little uh, surprised that they that they didn't. Um, I will confess to messing around with my configs for a second. Uh, <laughs> no problem. And, and not quite seeing what what, well, what it was that, that they decided not to go. But I mean that's that's playing it safe. And there's nine minutes, and uh, basically the match rests on this round. So I, I think they were afraid of screwing it up. Yeah, I mean, to be honest. We see uh -huh. Smacka and the combo moving through the battlements, and that heavy able to zone out that combo completely out of the computer room. And now the Uber coming in for royalty, and it's not the best Uber though. Sharice no. with a decent Uber, Blueberry villain though, somehow backing out of this, and actually a lot of splits going down for Sharice. So even Ubers here, but RB takes out Grape, and uh, royalty forced to back out here. Smacka oh. trying to hold that. Oh, here comes the, the oh jump God. in by Mason, but gets juggled in the air by Trisk, and nice tracking by him. Two oh. players down for royalty, and a chance for Slash to push. Yeah, I, th I think that was a better uh, Uber by uh, Charisse. Um, and then the aftermath, I mean, they survived that jump, and now they can continue to push this uh, momentum forward. Mason just respawned, Smack is still down, and 10 seconds, so it's like full 10 mm -hmm. seconds they have an advantage. Renga getting a nice I mean, pick on the Duatna, though, and without their demo man, Psyops are in trouble. Psyops beginning to start the back out, and Grape hitting a nice air um, shot onto the scout. Yeah, the pick on Duatna really uh, diffused that situation. They are going to have Uber uh, very shortly here. Looks like, uh, okay, never mind. I thought for a second I saw Sakura on crits. Still Uber. 15% for Sakura. A little bit of pressure. Uh, here comes an early Uber. And Grape doing a nice job forcing the Uber on the Spire. And Sakura just popping his Uber perk right now. So here he comes to the choke with a better Uber. Pushing in, and there's no heavy alive for Psyops right now. So they're not going to... Oh, there's a scout coming behind, though. It gets some damage on Sakura. Takes him out, Arby. Great pick by him. Blueberry villain coming in, taking out Za as well, and only two players alive for ro royalty. Getting cleaned up by RB. Wow. Great play there. Um, Cherise got jumped and got taken down. It was a very solid jump, but that was all they lost. In the aftermath of that, they were able to wipe out royalty. Um, was uh, re some regicide right there. And some definitely great play by RB and Blueberry on the cleanup, getting all four of those frags between the two of them. We see Psyops beginning on the second point here, even Ubers, and they're just looking to play it safe. It's still 3-3 on this round here, and this, like we said, it's a crucial match for all the teams. We're in the very final week of ESCA, and these are when the teams need these final matches in order to make playoffs. Yeah, and this is a very tightly timed match, and there's uh, minutes are ticking away, and it could possibly go to overtime, or this round could just uh, decide it. Um, it's certainly kind of dragging on, been back and forth. Um, Psyops able to swing things around uh, with some uh, great play, um, trading Sharice for the entire other team, which is a good trade. Uh, royalty now on their back foot. And, uh, so, and we interesting choice by Snacka here, playing defensive sniper on the second point. Typically, you don't see sniper on defense, especially uh, you know in a situation like this. But maybe since Trisk is on heavy, it might end up being a good counter for him. Uh, we'll see where Psyops decides to take their Uber from. They're actually just choosing to dance around a middle point and maybe they're realizing that due to the time left in the in the, in the half maybe they want to leave enough time so that uh royalty can't actually win them round. uh that's i've seen strategies that, especially from european teams doing that with the time limit rule yeah 
I mean, uh, there's a lot of playing on the clock that goes on. Um, that just uh, that's just kind of how it goes. Anytime you have a format um, uh, such as this, I mean, it, it doesn't matter whether it's an hour or, or just 30 minutes. Um, they're always going to be playing the clock. Psyops trying to move their Uber through the computer room, but Snacka with that sniper is able to look all the way down the hallway, and that's going to prevent them from pushing down that direction. Blueberry Villain wants to move the choke as well, but Smacka has such great coverage with this sniper play. What you really need to do when you're playing against a sniper on, on this situation is you need to move that sewer side because that has a wall that protects you from the sniper uh, down the far side of the sewer. Blueberry Villain trying to move that computer room, and the two soldiers doing a nice job of pressuring him out of there. So hopefully they'll begin their, you know, something here. They need to make something happen here. It is 3-3, but they're in no rush at all. And Blueberry getting denied at the choke as well. Psyops only choosing between the choke and the computer room, and like I said, they're not even considering the sewers as an option. Yeah, kind of. I mean, this is a newer map. You know, maybe teams haven't figured out what exactly they should be doing in this uh, stalemate. And uh, so teams are going to be, you know, exceptionally cautious in these situations. It's kind of the nature of playing uh, a more unusual map. Smack has got a good angle, but again, um, not quite able to connect when he actually has the opportunity. Um, RV had a good run on Sniper, but besides that, we haven't seen too much craziness out of the Sniper position. Sorry about the muting. I had to uh, mute myself there. RV coming with an aggressive Uber with the Scout, actually. Double Scout Uber. and But they're unable to do much with it. Actually, a lot of flashing going down by Sharice, and that's going to prevent a lot of damage. But unfortunately, Ranga takes out Blueberry Villain. No pocket for Psyops right now. Royalty thinking about what they're going to be doing. Mason moving through... The computer room, Zog getting a nice pick on RB, and now Mason coming in behind, getting damage onto Duatna, who takes him out, though. And Psyops that, with that heavy, Triss doing a nice job holding on the choke, gets taken oh, out, though. there we go. Smack a nice headshot onto Charisse. Yeah, Two I was plays. watching Smack, he was hitting a couple shots, you know, just some small body shots, warming up. Now Oof. he's gone fire, there goes Duatna. Duatna not up for another 20 seconds, that's gonna be brutal. That's a big swing. I mean, losing yeah. the medic, Sakura's now got a huge advantage. This is going to swing the middle point and probably the second point, the spire as well, um, in favor of royalty. Uh, they got to. They should be moving a lot quicker than this. I don't. Yeah. I don't know why they're es hesitating. Especially with Duwanta the dead, there's you know no chance. And and Psyops knows it. They had the sentry set up on last, and for some reason royalty is taking their time. Maybe they don't want to get forced. Maybe they want to make sure. Yeah. And they have plenty of time right now, actually, considering you know. Streus is only on 50% Uber here. They're actually beginning to move their Uber through this left side tunnel. And here comes Grape with the Uber down the left side. Pretty early though, and actually not That's getting good. very much damage. But able it to take out the sentry. It oh. was early. What they need to do now though, is they need to put the pressure on the point. Um, uh, doing that right now is great. Wow. But... There it is. Oh, man. Psyops just couldn't get anybody to stand on the point. Um, definitely felt like Royalty maybe could have uh, hopped on that point a little bit quicker uh, post um, post Uber, but nothing you can do about it. it actually, now it looks like 58 seconds remaining in this half. I don't believe it's possible. Maybe they can prove me wrong. Yeah, it actually would have been a bad Uber had it not been for that really nice headshot by Smacka. And actually, that's putting Psyops in a bad situation here. You're right, with one minute left in the half, and, and Royalty's up, you know, 4-3, looking to finish it right here. Psyops getting some nice frags though. This could be their only chance to finish out this round. They need to get this cap. They need to move on to second point quickly if they want any chance. And Sakura wisely backing out. He just needs to save the Uber for last right here. This is going to be a free cap for Psyops on the second point here. They're getting ready for this push. And Royalty doesn't really have very much setup because three of their players are just spawning right now. Coming up with a pyro, maybe they might have a chance to air blast oh. them off the point. Here comes in this Psyops Uber. Actually... Royalty Ubering first, but Sharice coming with an Uber, the Pyro doing a nice job, but Duwatna and Testify getting some nice damage, Smacka trying to take Duwatna out, it's not going to be enough, Slaps a ton of damage on the point, oh. stalemating as they're on the point, what? Wow, um, wow, what a fantastic finish there, um, really, you know, couldn't see the, the, the clock, I knew it was ticking, I knew it was so close, and, uh, I think they were, I mean, you, you got to buff up and stuff. You got to be ready to go. But, I mean, it, it was that close, you know? And if if you're turning around to, to buff your play a, l a little bit mm -hmm. and, and say, well, yeah, maybe I'll just, you know, hit the realmer up a little bit more before we go in, that s slowed down their push. Cool. Um, and, and you can't, I mean, that's how close it was. And it's amazing that this game 
came that close, um, yeah. really super close from uh, Psyops uh, to tie it up in the end. But Royalty holding on there right at the last moment, coming away with a 4-3 victory as time <laughs> expires. <laughs> well, their last was under attack, only smack up. I can't believe it. One second between, you know, and that could be their chance at playoffs right there. Just one second making the difference. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, if that's how it goes down, if um, I'm, not, I'm not sure who they're playing next. Um, and that's their their destiny for the season. I mean, so be it. Like that's unfortunate for for this team, but they played very well tonight. Um, they almost, you know, had the comeback, and uh, they should be proud of themselves and should uh, keep their chins up for next season um, if that's how it goes out. But I mean, they are nine and seven, so mm -hmm. I, I think that they are should be pretty good for a top eight finish. Um, you know, looking at this situation right now, Psyops have played all their games and are nine and seven. Uh, the eight and nine teams um, are Bear Force One and Royalty, um, and then um, I mean they're the only other teams that can um, can finish nine and seven. I, um, they're not they're not playing each other, so um, they actually both could play it, finish nine and seven. Mm -hmm. Then we get into a crazy tiebreak scenario, and one of those player one of those teams would unfortunately not get into the playoffs. Um, I don't. Right. I don't know. I haven't done the research yet, but um, I mean, it, their destiny is in their own hands. They got to win their game. Their next game, Bear Force One playing Red Team, um, Royalty playing We Can Warriors, uh, which kind of a tough matchup. Now, we get, looking at the stats here, you can see just how close that match was. I mean, the frags are exactly even at 116. Damage super close for both teams, and uh, what it really came down to though was Sakura had four more Ubers and. Actually, there was you know that that time management really came into play there, and just it just happened to be the way that the time worked out. That royalty had you know one minute left, or Saps had one minute left to equalize that final round, and it was a really great attempt by them, but um, unfortunate for for that <laughs> they just missed it by half a second. So uh, we thank you for joining our cast tonight. Uh, we first caught uh, Bear Force One, uh, unfortunately losing in an earlier match. Uh, we see here to Incognito Esports on process, and then we watch the second match, a very close match between Royalty and PsyOps, and then uh, actually tomorrow night you'll be covering some matches as well, right, next time? Yeah, we're going to be doing the LG doubleheader tomorrow night. Um, myself and Salamancer casted by Sud, so we're going to have a nice silky smooth stream, um, and uh, you guys should definitely come back and hang out. Because uh, it's the end of the invite season, man. Um, next up is going to be LAN after this. And uh, we got LG versus Mixup as the, the main showcase tomorrow night. Um, that's going to be a fun match. I mean, LG kind of having a tough time uh, lately with their new roster. But, I mean, they're still second dogs. Um, and we got to see how they pan out against um, uh, Mixup. Also, they're playing the chess club um, earlier in the night. Well, actually, I'm not 100% sure on the order, but I think that's how it's going to go down. Um, and, and that's going to be a great match as well. Um, looking forward to seeing you know Chess Club um, have that uh, fourth spot on lock. I'm sorry, yeah, just uh, confirming that real quick. They do have that fourth spot on lock, so they will be attending LAN. Um, those are your four LAN teams. Uh, congratulations to Chess Club uh, for making it without uh, Mr. Weeble. Um, I don't know any gossip there, but uh, yeah, man. Uh, that should be starting uh, tomorrow night at uh, 11 p.m. Eastern, um, 8 p.m. Um, Pacific. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys there. Hopefully I will get out of work and I won't be tired or uh, back out of the cast. But um, you did a great job here tonight, Mr. Slan. I'm taking away your microphone, but I'm going to give it back to you, and I'm going to cut out of here early. So thanks for tuning in, guys. No worries. Thanks, uh, thanks Mr. Slan. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate having a second caster here. <laughs> Um, and like I said, you know, thank you all for watching. It's a big night for Intermediate, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it. We will bring you more casts tomorrow, and then well, I'll try and bring something on my own stream uh, to fill in the time. We have about two weeks before you know land, so I'll try and get some like land preview and show some of the past lands, as well as some of the some of the things to expect from this uh, this season's players and this season's teams. But uh, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time.